Hey everybody, just got back from Record Store Day drop number three. Thought I'd share a first reaction of what I picked up today and share that with you. Stick around and we'll dive in. Hey everyone, just got back from Record Store Day drop number three. Um, brisk, brisk day here in Wisconsin. Um, if you caught my earlier video, the original plan was uh, maybe go later in the day. Um, as it turns out, you know, the uh, besides having some things to do uh, with the family and get some yard work done and all that, um, you know, the, the moment captures you sometimes and it just, you get that itch to get out early. So uh, one of the things that I did want, I found out the, the quantities were a little bit lower at my store. Um, so I didn't think it would still be around when I would get there later in the day. So I decided, you know, I'm just going to get up early and go. Not a big deal. Um, got there. Store opened at 8 a.m. Got there a little after 5. I was about 8th in line. Um, it was uh, filled up fairly quickly after me for uh, the next 20 to 30 minutes. And then there was that lull for a bit. And then it, it kind of filled out after that again right before the shop opened. So really quick. Um, they do the, uh, they give you a card. You check off what you want, you hand it to them, they go into the store, retrieve your items, and then you pay out on the curb so they can keep the masses out of the store uh, with social distancing and all that. So um, just back enjoying my little little bit of coffee in my record store day every day mug. Um, picked this up years a few years ago at Guest Room Records in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, that was my previous shop before moving back to Wisconsin. Uh, now I, I shop at Strictly Discs in Madison for the most part. Um, so let's take a look and see what I got. Uh, per usual, there's a little bit of a swag bag going on. I have no idea really what's in here other than this. They were giving away um, uh, free beer um, <laughs> and alcohol from some local uh, brew pubs and whatnot. This is Great Dane. Dog Days Hard Seltzer Citrus. So we'll we'll give that a little taste later on. Um, let's see a T-shirt of some sort. Whoa! <laughs> a T-shirt that probably is too small for me. Interesting. Oh. Some buttons. They get a lot of just local, some sort of promo card for cigarettes after sex. The last time I was there, um, let's see, Lenny Bruce sticker. Last time I was there was mostly just things for local businesses, coaster, tavern. Uh, oh, this is good. I didn't get this previously. This is the sampler CD. I always find it funny that Record Store Day does a, a CD for its sampler, but I guess you gotta save money. And then a Woodstock 50th button. And then a coupon for a local pizza joint. That I was at last time, and a uh, beer chip for a free drink if we ever get back to eating in pubs. So that's that. Um, I did. Besides my record store day purchases, I did have a few things um, that I had on order that came in yesterday. I just opted not to pick it up because of uh, it's a little out of the way for me. I don't I don't have the store like you know right in my backyard. It's a 35, 40 minute drive. So um, I was working from home yesterday and, and just opted not to go in and pick up my stuff. But um, the CD, the new Bruce Springsteen album, letter letter to you. I'm a huge Springsteen person, so I, I tend to still get the CD and the vinyl. Um, and then on the vinyl end of things, just kind of see, this is the Springsteen Letter to You. And then this is also a letter to you, but this is the indie store exclusive. Um, 
So I might do a video at some point. This is uh, limited edition gray vinyl. And then this is just the standard, just the standard black. So as I said, I'm a, I'm a, I grew up in Jersey, so I'm a huge Springsteen fan and um, will pick up multiple copies of his stuff if he does a few variants. I, I know the last couple things he's done, he's had variants, so I've, I've got a few copies of each. Um, on to the Record Store Day stuff. So this is Beck, Uneventful Days, St. Vincent Remix. Um, that's from his latest album, Hyperspace. <clears throat> Can't remember if this is colored or not, and it is just the standard black. That's actually the B side. No, there is it a double A, double A side. So you got that, and that, and a little, little dusty. So we'll have to clean that off before we give that a spin. Oops. There's actually one other thing that I forgot that I got yesterday, too. Um, this this is just one of the weekly releases as well that I had ordered. It was paid for, so they just had to grab it for me. Uh, Beastie Boys Music. Um, this came out yesterday. Uh, I believe this is serving as a soundtrack of sorts to a new documentary on the Beastie Boys. Um, and it's basically just a, an updated Greatest Hits compilation um I, I like the beastie boys i'm not a you know a huge mega fan so i don't have any full proper albums but it's got everything that i, I really like like you know a fight for your right brass monkey no sleep till brooklyn uh sabotage intergalactic so you know it's just your your standard mix on uh, two lps and i think it's just a standard black release nothing nothing fancy on that so back to the record store day um, this, something I was looking forward to a lot, Lou Reed, John Cale, um, Songs for Drella. This was a, uh, album that they recorded together, um, right around 1990 in honor of Andy Warhol, who, um, kind of had a nickname, uh, almost behind the back of Drella, uh, which was a, a mashup of, uh, Dracula and Cinderella. Um, and this is a, a kind of an ode to Andy Warhol uh, from the two ex Velvet Underground bandmates. So big Velvet Underground fan. So I was looking forward to this one. I believe this is a Record Store Day exclusive. Not a gatefold. I thought it was going to be a gatefold, but it is not. Limited to 8,500 copies, so obtainable. Um, there's a, looks like an inner sheet of sorts. Oops, kind of hung up there. Lyric sheet and info sheet. And then the music, two LPs. They look like they're just your standard black, uh, so I won't pull them both out, but they're in a nice poly line sleeve at least. So that is nice looking wax. The next thing I got was the new album from Soul Asylum. This is just a record store day first release. Um, what made this special is that they were including a bonus 7 inch that was not going to be available. Um, after the fact. So I, I think the album, I don't know if the album drops, if today is considered the release date or if they are gonna, um, if this comes as, if the, if the full, like full, full release comes out later. Um, it's a gatefold, so I lose the, the wrap on it, the shrink, but I'll I'll save the hype sticker. I always cut those off. If it's a gatefold, I'll just cut off the hype sticker and stick it in the sleeve and save it. But if it's not a gatefold, I'll try to preserve the, the shrink. So it's a nice looking gatefold. 
Here is your 7 inch. So a nice looking album for sure. And on a black, looks like black wax. Yep. A plain black sleeve, so I'll, I'll replace that with probably a MoFi. A lot of times when I get the, the black inner sleeves, I'll save those. The white ones I kind of pitch because those things are a, a dime a dozen, but if they're a different color, I'll, I'll usually save the, the inner sleeve on those and, um, and then just kind of save them within the album itself. And then here is that bonus seven inch, which again, just comes in a plain black sleeve. So the, the bonus on that is uh, side A, rhinestone cowboy, and then side B, we, th we three. So that's a cool little bonus, and hopefully this is a good album, because I've kind of gotten back into Soul Asylum after a number of years. I mean, obviously, Grave Dancers Union was pretty big when I was in high school, high school into college, um, but that was kind of the extent that I got into them, and then over later years, I started going backwards, and the earlier stuff, which is a little bit more punk than alt-rock radio. Um, this is Johnny Cash classic cash early mixes hall of fame series i don't think i'm yeah all all tracks previously unreleased so he ended up going to mercury records um in the 80s and what he ended up doing was recording uh, a number of his classic songs just you know a, a handful i walk the line cry 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 ballad of ira hayes ring of fire uh, Folsom Prison Blues. So these are, you know, his classic, uh, a lot of his classic songs on here, um, but he re-recorded them um, in the late 80s. So I'm really curious to hear, you know, his, his newer, newish takes on them. You know, if he, if he stuck to the originals or if he took it in a different direction. Um, this is a gatefold, so we will preserve the shrink so I can grab the hype sticker off of that later. Just a basic hype sticker for record store day, nothing too fancy. So, I wasn't too thrilled with the artwork. I thought this was a little, a little blase almost. Um, it's nice, full gatefold. And then no, no inners of note, but nice, at least nice polyline sleeves. So this is a double LP on black wax. Um, I, I, I love it when they include a polyline sleeve. I mean, I, I don't need, you know, they don't have to put, put things in MoFi sleeves, um, you know, unless you're buying a MoFi album, of course. But I, I just, it drives me crazy. Hey. For, for the amount of money records are going for these days, um, could you at least like put them in a decent inner sleeve? Uh, that's all I really ask. Um, and then the last thing, this is kind of what got me out of that a little bit earlier, because uh, they, they just didn't seem like they were going to have a lot of these. Uh, this is The Who, the Monterey International Pop Festival, their performance. Uh, they called this a quick one, a quick live one. And it is just six songs, three on each side. I actually listened to the music yesterday because I have the CD box set from Hi its highlights of the Monterey Pop Festival. Um, we will keep the shrink on this one because it is not, it's just your, it's like a nice tip on jacket. We'll carefully slice this open. So, the jacket, and then this came in a printed inner sleeve, so we'll I'll replace, I obviously I'll keep this, but um, move the disc into like a MoFi sleeve. But this is, look at this, that is nice. Red, white, and blue, tricolor. 
So that's that is a really nice looking disc. I I, I, I dig the. I, I mean, I do really like colored vinyl. I know there's a lot of folks that prefer black. Some people just don't care. I, I enjoy it. I think it looks cool. Um, I've had. I know there's that great debate. What sounds better? Um, I, I don't know because I've got colored vinyl that sounds awesome and black that sounds terrible. So I, I think it just comes down to like anything. Um, the care that goes into the pressing at the plant itself and um, you know and and the mastering of the album and all that stuff um, that that's equally important to the color and probably even more so than just the color so that's that's what I picked up I'm gonna um, take a little time uh, my wife went out and did some shopping the kids are doing their own thing for a little bit so I'm gonna throw a little bit of this on um, now and, and kind of enjoy what I uh, waited online for this morning. Hope all of you got what you were looking for. Let me know in the comments below what you picked up, if you happen to get any of the things I got or, or anything different, um, and let me know your experience and uh, give this video a, a, a like and hopefully subscribe and we'll see you again soon. Thank you.